Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closet where we get to gossip all about perfumes and everything in between. So let's get started. Alright you guys, in today's video, in today's video, I'm super excited because I finally got my hands on six brand new perfumes. Now these are perfumes that I've always wanted to try out because every time I get on TikTok, there's someone always hyping these perfumes up and I finally decided to try them out for myself. Now we have here three perfumes from Paris Corner and then I got two from La Taffa, and then we have another one which I'm not sure what brand this is but this is a oil perfume now i ended up getting these perfumes from aroma concepts and i ended up paying 178 dollars for all five perfumes which i think that's a really good deal if you ask me the other one i did get as a gift from somebody so that's what we're gonna do today so go grab yourself a little snack and let's jump right into this review all right so the first one that i'm gonna start off with this perfume or this perfume oil was really really popular it was so overly hyped a couple of months ago so i never got around to try it out because i just felt like the hype was just too much i didn't want to be an extra person who was just trying out a perfume only because it went viral and i am talking about the harim el sultan perfume oil now this perfume the amount of tiktoks and the overly hyped was just not my thing with this oil because the way that they were promoting it or the way that they were doing it was like oh if you use this perfume your man's going to be turned on and i don't know it was just not my <laughs> cup of tea but uh, somebody did gift me this and i have some thoughts and opinions so first and foremost the packaging is cute i'm not the biggest fan of the bottle i don't know if it's just me i don't want to sound like a hater but i don't like the bottle like this to me just i don't know it's just not my cup of tea when it comes down to something like this and i do understand that this is an oil it's not a perfume so it is going to be a lot smaller but i don't know i just Personally for me, I don't like this and that's just my own personal taste. I think this is just not um, What I'm attracted to when it comes down to like bottles and packaging, but that's just me So this is supposed to be a sweet fruity oil This one has top notes of jasmine bergamot and peony the middle notes are pineapple peach and plum and the base notes are musk sandalwood and patchouli now I got this about two weeks ago and I wanted to try it out and I have to say um, I like it but the way that it was overly hyped, I thought this was going to be, I don't know, something different than what it is. So this, it is a beautiful oil. Like, I really like how it feels on the skin. It, it feels nice. But when it comes down to the scent, it's not what I thought it was going to be. But it is nice. It's definitely a really nice, I want to say creamy, fruity perfume. This is definitely definitely really really fruity and juicy and the first thing that i'm getting out of this is pineapple like it does have notes of pineapple peach and plum and i can smell all of that it smells like a peach it smells like a like a juicy pineapple it's definitely plummy i also do get that muskiness i don't get sandalwood or patchouli thank god but i do get a muskiness out of this and I do believe they created a perfume out of this. Like now you can just wear a perfume instead of the oil. But yeah, this is definitely a really nice, fruity, juicy perfume. So if you like sweet, very, very fruity perfumes or oil, then I think you're going to like this one. I personally would prefer a perfume version of this than the oil. Like I'm not a... I'm not an oil type of person, especially when it comes down to scents. I would just rather have a perfume. But, um, yeah, this is nice. This is definitely, definitely nice. And uh, I don't know, I feel like this is kind of unique. If you ask me, like, it is your typical fruity, pineapple, juicy scent. But there's something in here in the dry down that, for me, it comes up a little bit unique i don't know if it's the muskiness i don't know if it's the sandalwood i don't know what it is but i feel like this does come off a little bit unique i like it but like i said i would rather have a perfume version of this so i can be able to spray it all over my clothes my skin would i buy the perfume of this yes i would because it's nice it's definitely a nice sweet fruity 
oil. All right, so moving on to the next one. So the next one that I got here, I'm really happy that I was able to get my hands on this perfume finally and it is from latafa and we have here yada toes which is the yellow orangey perfume i was really super excited to try this one out because i do have the original latafa one and then we have the latafa yada candy now when this one came out i was really really loving this perfume which i still do this one's okay but i think i like this one better but now we have the orange one and i have to say <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts and I have a lot of opinions when it comes down to this perfume. So let me take it out of its packaging so we can talk about it. All right, so here we have the perfume. And like I've said before with these perfumes, I'm not the biggest fan of these bottles. I mean, they're these two I like. <laughs> the other one, I don't know why. Maybe it's the color of the light pink one. This one just comes off a little bit. It just looks cheap. I don't know why. These look a little bit, I guess, better in my opinion. I think the scents are a lot better or deserve better packaging than this. But uh, yeah, here we have Toes. And this is described as a tropical sweet vanilla perfume. This one has top notes of mango, coconut, and passion fruits. The middle notes are jasmine, helotrope, and orange blossom. And the base notes are vanilla, musk, and cashmere. And I have to say, when I first, first tried out this perfume, when I first put it on, oh my heaven this is this is good you guys this is good i think this is my new latafa favorite perfume oh this is so good oh that mango that coconut that passion fruit is just blended beautifully this is a really nice sweet fruity creamy vanilla perfume i really really like this perfume a lot now a lot of people were comparing this perfume to paco Rabanne's fame and yeah it is very similar it's definitely very similar but i feel like this one is just a bit more mangoey and a little bit more creamier i don't know it's just good it's just it's definitely a good perfume this is just a really beautiful creamy vanilla fruity perfume the first initial hits you get that really nice mango and coconut it smells like a creamy mango a creamy coconut but then the dry down it starts to turn into that sweet creamy vanilla with a hint of florals this is not a floral perfume but it does have hints of florals it's definitely a musky cashmere perfume because it does come off cozy it definitely comes off like a like a soft a uh, blanket type of scent, but it's nice. It's definitely a sweet vanilla, coconutty, mangoey perfume. I feel like the mango does tend to tone down in this perfume, but it's still somewhat there in the dry down. But the most that I can smell out of this perfume in the dry down is that vanilla notes, a bit of florals, and something creamy like a coconut or creamy coconut. Yeah, that's what I smell the most in the dry down but i like it i really really like this one i think out of the three yada perfumes this is definitely my number one and this one would be my number two like i think these two together maybe would be a perfect combination i haven't layered them together but yeah this is just a beautiful beautiful sweet fruity vanilla coconutty mangoey perfume so if you do like mango perfumes coconutty creamy perfumes with vanilla and a hint of florals then i think you're gonna like this one quite a lot also if you do like paco Rabanne's fame then i think this is going to be a um maybe not so much of a dupe but definitely something close to that perfume if you don't want to spend the a hundred and something dollars on that perfume and you want something similar then this is definitely your best bets for that perfume because <sighs> you guys it's good so do not sleep on this perfume because i am really really liking this perfume quite a lot all right so moving on to the next one so this perfume has been going viral lately on tiktok a lot of people have been talking about this perfume and when i heard about the comparisons to another popular perfume i knew that i had to try it for myself and we have here paris corner confection and <sighs> You guys, when I saw the bottle, I immediately knew that I had to try it out because the bottle is really, really beautiful. I mean, the packaging for this is really, really beautiful. I really like the packaging for this. So let me open this up so we can get to the scents. All right, so here we have the perfume. Again, the bottle is really, really beautiful. I think this is just, 
I don't know, different and unique. And also the, the packaging. I think these colors are just really, 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 really beautiful. So yeah, definitely A plus for packaging and bottle. All right, so this perfume is described as a sweet vanilla candy perfume. This one has top notes of pear and whipped cream. The middle notes are jasmine, elaine elaine, and cashmere. And the base notes are sandalwood, marshmallow, and vanilla. Everything about this sounds so freaking good. And when I first got it and I first tried it out, I knew what the hype was all about. I definitely knew what the hype was all about. And I understood the comparisons to another popular perfume, which we'll talk about in a minute. But, ah, uh, you guys, yes, the, the hype is real. The hype is definitely real because this is definitely a sweet, very, very sweet vanilla, marshmallowy, creamy perfume. But this is also spicy. Like, I don't know why, but this perfume is very, very spicy. And normally, I don't like spicy perfumes, but for some reason, this type of spiciness fits this perfume. It almost, the spiciness that I'm getting, it's kind of like uh, like cinnamon. It comes off a little bit cinnamon or amber -y, but it's also very, very marshmallowy, very, very vanilla, very candy vibes. It's really, really good. It's so freaking good, you guys. Where have I been? Because this is really good. So a lot of people on TikTok were comparing it to KLE Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar. Now I have to say, this is very similar to that. This is definitely very, very similar to that. And yes, I would say this is a dupe for this one, but this one to me comes off more this one has more of a bubblegum feel to it. Like, this one smells more like bubblegum, more sweet, more sugary, more vanilla, more candy vibes. The Kair Confection, this one comes off a little bit more like marshmallow and powder, like powder marshmallows. Like, when you open a fresh bag of marshmallows and you can smell the powder of nothing but marshmallows, that's what this one reminds me of a lot. It's very, very like that with a hint of something cinnamon. But yet, yeah, it's still very, very vanilla, very creamy, very sweet, very candy vibes. I don't get any bubblegum out of this one. I get a lot of bubblegum out of the Kayali one. But it's very similar. It's definitely very similar. So if you don't want to spend the 100 and something dollars for this one, this right here would definitely be your best bet. I have been wearing this for the past three days. And I have gotten compliments. My mom really likes this perfume. She wants a bottle for herself because she really, she really likes this perfume. Another perfume that this reminds me of a lot is the Jean-Paul Gaultier Labelle perfume. It's so, so much more similar to that one than the Kaeli one. So if you do like the Jean-Paul Gaultier perfume Labelle, then you're definitely going to like this one. I think both of those are very similar. This just, to me, comes off more like that one than the Kaeli one. But it's still very much Kaeli vibes as well. So if you like sweet, vanilla, marshmallowy, candy perfumes with a hint of something spicy or cinnamon, which is what I'm getting, then you're gonna like this one. You're gonna like this one a lot. I like it. I like it a lot, you guys. I really like this perfume. I see what the hype is all about, and I would buy another bottle of this one because it's so good. It's so, so good. So if you're into those type of perfumes, then I say get this one because it's just, it's good. And the longevity on this perfume is very, very long lasting. I got about six hours with heavy spraying. I don't remember how many times I sprayed, but I did go in heavy with this one. And it lingers so beautifully in the air. These perfumes are beast mode. Even this one, this one lingers really beautifully in the air. It's very long lasting. And I honestly think that all of these perfumes are very long lasting. I don't know how they're doing it, but they're doing it right because all of these perfumes have a longevity of like six to eight hours, which I think it's really, really, really good. That's what we need in perfumes. That's what I want in my perfumes. And for something that it's not very expensive, I think that's uh, top notch quality. So uh, I want to put this on right now, but I'm going to wait. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely a really good perfume, a must have if you like sweet vanilla candy perfumes you have to like those really really sickening sweet almost kind of like honey vibes like sticky honey it's almost kind of like that so 
If you like those type of perfumes, then I say get this one. You won't regret it. I promise you. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the next three that I got. These next three that I got, I only got them because of the bottles. And I have to say, there's no regrets indicating them because of the bottles. These perfumes are so freaking beautiful, you guys. All right, so the first one that I got is called Sweet Surrender by Ophidian. I also got Mango Bliss and Black Cherry. So this is the one that I'm gonna start off with because this is my least favorite one out of the three. But I have to say the packaging for this is so beautiful. The packaging, you guys, the packaging is insane. It's intense. It's really, really beautiful. But let's talk about the bottle because that bottle in there is crazy i've never seen something like this i am beyond like happy with this i'm just beyond happy with this so the packaging and bottle get an a plus so yeah this bottle is just stunning i really like these bottles i think the promotional pictures that they've used doesn't do these bottles justice like in person these are really really heavy high quality and they're just so so beautiful but yeah we have black cherry i'm a little bit disappointed with this one because my bottle came in damaged like the snake fell off and you might think that's not a big deal but it's definitely a big deal because i didn't pay for something damaged but uh yeah the snake broke and you can tell it's broke because the little piece up here is missing so yeah that's a bummer now i'm gonna read the notes out of the box because the notes are in the box so this one has top notes of cherry raspberry bergamot and woody the middle notes are praline helotrope rose and oud and the base notes are tonka bean patchouli vetiver and incense so uh, <laughs> there's a lot of notes in here that i probably or i would have said i not my cup of tea but i have to say this is not a bad sense it's definitely not a bad scent. I would have thought that this was going to come off very like woodsy. I do not like wood perfumes to be honest. But to my surprise, this is not <laughs> this is not a bad scent. Oh, you guys, this is a uh, powerhouse. This is really, really strong. Give me a minute. I knew better not to spray this much. Okay, so this perfume. Okay, so it is a really, really nice dark black cherry. But the thing that I don't like about this perfume is that it comes off like cherry medicine to me. Like this is definitely cherry medicine. There's nothing special about cherry perfumes to me anymore. Like I feel like every cherry perfume smells the same. And I've been hearing a lot of people saying this is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Yeah, it's similar. It's definitely similar to Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, except that I think Tom Ford's Lost Cherry comes off a lot more cherry-ish, a lot more rich. This one comes off a little bit more, uh, I don't know, powdery. It's definitely an incense, oody, cherry perfume. I don't like those type of perfumes because they come off very, very... I don't know like black leather or very masculine and that's just not my cup of tea when it comes down to perfumes but i have to say this one is a nice cherry perfume for what it is i think my mom really liked this one so i'll probably give this one to her uh because i don't see myself reaching for this perfume as much as i would for the other ones but yeah if you like cherry perfumes if you're into woody dark uh ootsy incensey cherry perfumes then i think you're gonna like this one quite a lot because it's definitely that but to me i'm getting cherry medicine just something dark smoky and woodsy but yes it is a black cherry perfume so if that's your cup of tea then i think you're gonna like this one quite a lot all right so moving on to the next one so this next one is mango bliss which is the yellow one and again you guys the packaging the bottle this is just beautiful 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 i don't know how or who created this but this is beautiful this is a beautiful beautiful bottle i hope they keep releasing perfumes in these type of bottles like different colors i think a pink one would be nice uh but yeah this is just stunning all right so mango bliss this one has top notes of mango ginger red berries and lemon the middle notes are cumerian woody note and jasmine and the base notes are oud amber Kypri oil definitely butchering that but that's and musk so yes you guys this is what that says but i have to say this one to me ooh, again 
Peace More. <laughs> Peace More Perfumes. This one to me, the first, first, first initial hits, the first initial spray, I'm getting a bitter lemon. It's definitely lemon, lemony. It's very sour, very bitter like that. Yeah, you guys, this is a bitter perfume. This is a bitter, mango-y, lemony perfume. But I not getting a lot of mango out of this i'm getting a lot of lemon and bitterness and it's just a sharp initial spray or first spray that's what you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot of that lemony lemon zestiness fresh very very sharp lemon and as it starts to dry down i have to say it doesn't become anything else but lemon but the lemony and the sharpness does seem to tone down quite a lot. I mean, it has the middle notes as woody notes, jasmine. The base notes are amber, musk, and oud. To be honest with you, I'm not getting any of that. All I'm getting is just lemon, 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 lemon juice, zestiness, something fresh. And even in the dry down, I'm still getting lemon. And it's very lemony and very gingery but it's toned down it's not as crazy as the first initial hit so i think this is perfect for the summertime this is definitely a beautiful beautiful summertime type of perfume but yeah this is a zesty lemony perfume so if you are into zesty lemony perfumes then you're gonna like this one i personally do like this one but i would have to layer this with something a little bit more on the aquatic side i do have another perfume in my collection called a girl in capri and i think that one with this one would be good because it's very very similar except that a girl in capri is a little bit more on the sweet side like it is fresh lemony but it has some type of like a sugary vibe to it it's very sweet like that this one is just a zesty uh lemony sharp perfume with a hint of something fresh i mean i like it i definitely like it this is for sure a summertime day night at night type of perfume with like the the breeze hitting you or if you go to the beach this is just one of those type of perfumes so yeah if you're expecting mango and nothing but mango out of this perfume you're gonna be disappointed because it's not a mango-y perfume it's more of a lemony zesty perfume with a hint of something mango-y but it's not just like a mango mango perfume which i'm surprised is called mango bliss this should have just been called zesty mango or uh lemony bliss or lemon bliss because it's more of a lemony scent than a mango scent but it's still a really really nice scent for sure all right so moving on to the last one and the last one that we have here is called sweet surrender which is supposed to be the sweet one and this is my favorite one because the bottle is just so beautiful i am a sucker for everything just gold and even though this one comes off like a dark gold this is just just beautiful this is so so good like paris corner is doing it right with the bottles and the packaging so yeah the, we have here the sweet surrender and this one has top notes of sugar red berries and mandarin orange the middle notes are vanilla cacao spicy notes and rose and the base notes are tonka bean amber musk and woody notes i'm surprised that this perfume doesn't have vanilla because i am getting a little bit of vanilla in this perfume so it does come off very very sweet like that this is good you guys this is oh this is so so good so the first thing that i'm getting out of this perfume is banana milkshake banana and vanilla milkshake i don't know why but i'm getting a banana sweet sugary with vanilla milkshake so if you blend if you grab bananas with milk and you put a little bit of sugar and you drop a little bit of that vanilla abstract that's what i'm getting out of this perfume like if you take all of those ingredients blend them and drink them you're gonna taste that banana but it's going to taste sweet and sugary and vanilla-y but it's going to be like straight up banana i don't know why i'm getting banana out of this perfume to be honest with you if it doesn't have any notes of banana so i am getting sugar vanilla and cacao i think the vanilla and the cacao is what is giving this banana feel to it but it's good you guys this is really <sighs> this is good i'm telling you this is a banana 
milkshake this is just a really really nice sweet vanilla sugary perfume it's not a gourmand sweet or a gourmand vanilla perfume it's more of a sweet vanilla sugary maybe a tiny bit fruity with a hint of like woodsy notes something woodsy uh but not too too much so but if you do like sweet perfumes then i think you're gonna like this one quite a lot personally this is my favorite one out of all three of them i really really like this one so i'm gonna put this one on today and i'm just gonna go in a little bit heavy with this one because oh, you guys this is so so good this is really really good but i'm also going to layer it with the kair confection perfume because this one whoa this is just heaven in a bottle we're gonna do one two three four five. Oh my god that smells really really good i think these two together is like ah uh, a match made in heaven because this is just so good this is so so good you guys i'm really super happy that i got my hands on these two because yeah that smells that smells really really good that smells really really good i highly highly recommend these two or these three i think these three are just like perfect perfect scents for sure so yeah if you are into sweet perfumes do not sleep on these perfumes because these perfumes are really truly truly really really good and i do see myself reaching for these perfumes quite a lot but yeah you guys that is pretty much it for today's video that is pretty much of today's review and rundown i have to say i'm really super happy with my purchase i cannot wait to try out more from these brands because these perfumes are just really good the price tags are affordable the the way that they last and linger in the air top notch top notch for sure but like always let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below have you tried any of these perfumes and if so which one is your favorite one or do you have any other recommendations from these brands as always give this video a huge thumbs up that lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content if you're new here and you like everything perfumes then stick around click that subscribe button click the notification bell to get notified for every single time i upload and so you can be part of my team and like always thank you for watching and i can't wait to be gossip on the next one until then i'll see you next time bye guys